Sitting next to me in studio, number 94, Jaleel Johnson, the big man, picking up some big slack lately. Linval's been out, and you guys had one hell of a task last week in, uh, in dealing with a really good running back in Zeke. W- what was it like knowing in one week not only you were going to step up and assume a bigger role, but also face one of the best to do it in the league? Well, for starters, I mean, I kind of I didn't know that I was going to be going out there until maybe two days before. Wow. Yeah, so I had to quickly get my mind right. <laughs> I'm like, oh, man. But, you know, I, I was up for it. You know, I wasn't, you know, this is what I've been preparing for yeah. since I've gotten here. So, you well, know, And you've been in big moments, I mean, throughout yeah. your college career and stuff. Yeah. So you just got to zone in, basically. Yeah, but this is a much bigger stage, though. Yeah. You know, it's Sunday the, night football diff- in Dallas. What's the difference between starting – and being that three technique role that Mike Zimmer he values that position so much. It's just different being being it being the guy like the guy that's front line. You have to go out there and play. I mean, it's like you just got to be ready to go. You yeah. know, you can't be slacking out there. You can't just you know you have have your mind right. You know, and that's what and that was the biggest thing. You know, being a guy that you know that would rotate rotate in and out. You know, throughout the game to your front line go out there and, and play. You know, so that old line's pretty big. Yeah, they're big. Yeah, they're big dudes. <laughs> they're big. Good they're dudes. big dudes. <laughs> it always it kind of reminds me of, uh, and somebody will get mad at me for this metaphor, but you know, like old timey war, like in the, like the the like back when people fought like England and stuff, and there was just guys standing in a line <laughs> getting shot. Yeah. I always I always feel like that t- that three technique that spot that Linval played that place you were playing like you just have to go in there and yeah. just run into trouble like here come the bullets and you just got to take them. You're the first line. Win. You just got to take them. Yeah, you just got to take them. You know, you just got to take them. And, you know, I, I enjoy that, though. I'm yeah. the kind of guy where, you know, I enjoy I enjoy taking the shots, but I enjoy giving them out, too. Obviously, the extreme emphasis was on Zeke. Was that, uh, was that something that uh, – was it any different than anything you've dealt with in the last few years playing good running backs, knowing not only that he's good, but like you said, those dudes who block for him yeah. are really good. And, and then you guys came through. Yeah, I mean, again, playing a guy like Ezekiel Elliott who, you know, who runs for – a hundred plus yards a game it's you know behind this massive old line you know it's it was definitely I'm not gonna lie to you going into the game I was like oh man (laughs) this is gonna it's gonna be a day it's gonna be a day but you know I went in every we all went in there we were locked in you know and by the you know by the second second series I was like this is okay. All right, it's all right. This like, is, yeah, let's let's do it. It's kind of it. yeah. You kind of got over a little bit of that initial. It's that initial fear. Mm-hmm. Which, what, a, what about um, Andre Patterson and, and Robert Rodriguez, the two D line coaches? We all praise them for what they do. Obviously, Andre's been around forever, but you guys in the huddle at the beginning of every game, especially on the road, and we see Andre in the middle throwing uh-huh. up his fists, and and you guys, the the, the rushman, you, you guys recall, what is it like to get hyped up from that guy oh, before the man. game? We we do this thing before the game. We do our, you know, we do our little dance, you know, whatever, and that just gets us going because it's like, you know, you see Coach Dre out there in the middle just, just you know, just rocking. jigging, just grooving. It's like, okay, <laughs> like. I've had the boom mic, like, around you guys, and, like, I, my heart's, like, pounding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You know, Coach Jay is definitely the guy. He's, he's this guy. He just gets us going. You know, he gives us a speech every Saturday before we go out for a walkthrough, and that just gets us going. You know, it just – you can feel it. You can just feel it in your bones, like, all right, I'm ready to go out and play. Yeah. So It's such a strong group of personalities on the, on the D-line, mm-hmm. especially when you got a leader in, uh, in Everson who's not just your leader, but he seems to be the team's leader mm-hmm. kind of emotionally. How do you fit in? What's, are, are you more of a quiet guy? Are you uh, – yeah, do you a- change on the field? Yeah, I'm more off the field. I'm more of a quiet guy. I'm to myself. You know, I got my headphones in. I don't really speak. But on the field, I'm a whole different animal. See, this is this is what I wanted to. Say. Here's what I wanted to say because I was I was watching. I was that is a big role you stepped into this last weekend. So I was watching pretty carefully. And the way it and somebody had told me that you were kind of a quiet dude. Mm-hmm. It reminds me. You remember the movie The Mask? Yes. Uh, that's a so I, I think you stepping into that role was like, you, no matter who put the mask on, they'd become this super version of themselves <laughs> yeah. where like Jim Carrey's goofy and Dorian's becomes like a huge a hole. Yeah. To me, it was like the, the mask was <laughs> put, put on and you on, were yeah. you unleashed. Just, yeah. That's yeah. fun. That's what it is, man. You just put that mask on or, you know, whatever. You just go out there and you just got to become a. An animal, I don't know. Another guy who's a little bit on the quieter side is the guy next to you, Shamar Stefan. Oh, yeah. And he goes pretty quietly through getting recognition, but 
I mean, Andre Patterson praises him yeah. being the run stopper. What's it like playing against that? You guys are both from New York, too. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Two New York guys. <laughs> think, think about Shamar. Is, you know, we, we, call, we refer to Shamar as the big fundamental. Yeah. You know, Tim Duncan. Yeah, you know, yeah, I like just, that. You know, just big, a, just, quiet, and does Just a his real job. quiet guy, does his job, but he does it at such a high level every single time. He's a hoops player, too. He, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he, can, he can play ball, too. So, you know, believe it or not, he's a very swifty dude with the feet. Well, I'll say, you know, the one thing that I don't think uh, people think about a lot, it's when you guys are doing what you do, it allows the linebackers to do what they do. And Eric Hendricks is having a hell of a season, and mm-hmm. so is Anthony Barr. But I think the fact that Linval went out and you guys stepped up and the linebackers were still able, that's a, that's a huge credit to you guys. Yeah. Is there anything, as you look at, I know we don't get to look ahead, I know we don't get to uh, we don't get to look past these games, but is there anything specific? Any game you're you're looking for? Do you like the division games? You like you got a Monday night game coming up? Not focus away from this one, but is there any anything in the second half of the season that you're really looking forward to? Uh, I'm a big fan of playing at Seattle. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was hoping you would so, say. It's loud and it's what, loud. Is that why? It's loud. Yeah, it's loud. The fans get into it. It kind of reminds reminds me of U.S. Bank. You know, oh the yeah, fan, the fans get into it. It's, it's intimidating, mm-hmm. you no. Know, but I love it. But you love it though. You know, you go out there and you got however many that stadium fits against against us. Yeah, and you no, know, you just love it. So and that's that's such a great that'll be such a great measuring stick. Given they have a dude who's probably the MVP and they can run it and throw it. And now you add Josh Gordon onto that team. That'll be really Is Josh Gordon. Dude, yeah, he's they there. They stuck Josh. And by the way, they put him on. <laughs> they put him on. And one day later, he's like, "I'll just catch. I'll catch every important third down." It oh, was. It, it was gnarly. So <laughs> you're right. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Give me. Uh, give me though, without divulging uh, anything. Spe- anything special. But what's the thing that's really got your focus going into this Broncos game? Uh, their offensive line is. Is you know those are pretty. Quick dudes, you know yeah. those guys are fast. The way they they're kind of like our O line. Yeah, they play very yeah, similarly. Yeah, very, yeah, there are a lot of similarities, but you know, um, you know, being that we go against our own guys, you know, every day, you know, um, going into this Broncos game, it'll be just like you know, in my opinion, just like practice. Yeah, you know, so it's it's really all about just just staying locked in and. You know, whatever I do in practice, just convert it to the game. So Excellent. Jaleel is an Iowa guy. Yeah, I was going to say, we're, we'll get you out of here and we'll let you go be a human somewhere else. <laughs> but before we leave, uh, our team, the Gophers, is playing real well. Yes. And it's the mm. big. We had to touch on that. It's the big Gopher mm. Iowa one this weekend. Can, a, you be, can you guys be a spoiler or what? I think we can. Actually, <laughs> I know we can. You got any You got any friendly wagers with anybody? No. You don't? No friendly because you never know. <laughs> you, <laughs> you never know. You don't want to turn up you on the wrong know. side of stuff. You never know. But Minnesota, they're, they're playing they're playing pretty good football right now. You I'll, know? I'll, I'll give it to them. I'll tell you, it's. I think it's going to be your team is the true test because that's you can get a you can get really hyped up and mm-hmm. beat an important team in an important moment. Mm-hmm. Can you there. can you sustain it? Exactly. Yeah. Can you sustain it? Exactly. Well, yeah. hey man, you're doing a hell of a job. You always do, but it was fun to watch you get in the game and Thank get you. the reps and and really step into that role. Thank and you. it's exciting for all the fans. And we appreciate you giving us some time, man. Yeah, appreciate Thank you. it. Dude. Thank right. you.